Hello YouTube, we're back with another Vond review. We've got FlyQuest versus NRG, the one series in LCS that went to three games this weekend. Uh, if you guys are tuning in on the YouTube, thanks so much. I actually stream these live, twitch.tv slash cubbyxx, where you can also hear some music. We're playing some Taylor Swift, Welcome to New York, right now, while I'm saying welcome to YouTube. Uh, if you guys appreciate the content, though, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it really supports me, and I enjoy doing these, especially when people come into the chat and we get the chat, so... Let's dive into game one of FlyQuest versus NRG, where there is a Skarner on my screen, and we are not thrilled about it. Uh, I like FlyQuest draft a lot. We have ways to at least try and scale against the Skarner. Uh, there's a lot of scaling here for NRG. There's, like, in theory, a late game benchmark they can hit where things are tough, but I, I think that NRG suffers from a couple things this game. First off, this is a little bit... I hate calling a Karthus comp low damage, but they kind of whack damage outside the Karthus just a little bit. I, th I feel like their damage is a little bit low this game. And again, we're playing full commit into Zyra, so our only option now is the side lane. Like, we're playing full commit into this. How in a team fight are Kasante, Yone, Orn, like, ever going to have an impactful team fight against the carries of FlyQuest? It's going to be so hard for them to actually do this in this game, especially when you're playing into a Skarner. Like, that can really help control the front line of melees. So, I, I really didn't love this draft from NRG. Uh, yeah, we have someone in chat saying the Tower Destructo champs is the Demolition Duo. As these Yordles hate turrets, man. They just want to live, live free on the map like the Hobbits did. In the Shire. They want no structures. Oh my god, the Senna level 1 cheese? No way. I will say quad. So this is a nice adaptation. And the last two series we saw early on, Senna was able to impact on lane level 1. Guess what? Quad wards one side of his lane and hugs that. That's good. He's thinking about it. So fun. Um, We got Masu Ziggs. Masu is... um. I think a lot of people didn't realize how deep Masu's pool was the last split. Masu, for me, coming out of Challengers League, like, one of the edges that he had on Meech was that his pool's bigger. Uh, Masu's definitely a little bit more of a polished mage player. And I, I think his mage play is actually quite good. Nice. Really good trade from FlyQuest bot lane. Wow, that's... Okay. Really nice trade at level 2 to level 3. And they managed to cash in on Le Leona. I love the dive too with Leona. I mean, Leona's... This is the kind of shit you can do with Leona. This champion is Omega strong early. Okay, good delay from contracts. Damn, Blip put early base to tier, so that Femme winner is going to come in even earlier. Zyra gets two unimpeded clears, though, down to bot. And they're stalling the wave to try and get Zyra in again, so they're going to have a, a crash on cannon with Zyra. Uh, which I, I really appreciate. The Sig's Leona satchels, too, and the Leona's kind of fun. They do not use this timer, though, to take Dragon, and Inspire's going to backtrack up towards the Grubs? Oh, nice. So, Busio shows mid, they get Palafox Flash. And that's free grubs. And they're just going to trade for Drake. Okay. Alright, this is, this is fine for energy. I don't think they... Actually, is it fine? Is it fine? Do we want to fight here for energy? I think map-wise, they're out of position for this. 
And it's mostly off of the contracts reset. So I think contracts is doing the best he can here. Okay, this is okay. I think a topside fight right now, though, is like maybe one of the few timers you can actually win a topside fight, which is why I'm curious about it. Because it would have been level 5 Zyra, keep in mind, too. It's like things do not get better for you in terms of topside fights. Oh my god. Dude, Chad Busio just sending contracts back to base. I guess Flash too. Oh, Inspire's able to get in and do some camps. Oh no. Ooh, nice. That's actually kind of big. It gets... Oh, contract's still going to sack it. Oh. Yo, I think Energy missed out here. They Do they see Inspired? That's a real question, by the way. I don't know if they see Inspired here. Oh, I think I think if Contracts brings um, Senna up, he gets these camps. Because he only gets this. Oh my god. Dude. I just watched Inspired die in... <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, let's at least, like, throw a scout in here, you know? Like, we, we, can, we can plant up and throw a plant in the brush, but no, we're just gonna walk in and fucking die like a man. Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was a really weird series of events. I feel like energy. I don't like them playing for those bot side camps because uh, FlyQuest coming back out on the map, and you really only have time to get the one. I think if Senna moved up, they would have gotten the the red buff and another camp for Karthus. Red is like not the most important on the planet, but. You would have been able to guess Inspired's reset, too. Like, he would reset those bot camps. You can try and play from there. Wait, what are we... What? When did Huey TP? Sorry. We must go back through the record. Yo, Huey has TP up. His T- He can heal and get TP. So why are we completely sacking bot for this? This is crazy to me. Like, who he heals, and he has a TP available. I we, we just, we sack first turret for this. Yeah, I, 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 do, I do not like this from NRG. Alright. We get a kill. I still do not love it. Who he used uh, three sums for that boy. That's pretty funny, actually.
Um. Oh, nice jump from Claude. This is clever. I like this. That's nice. That's real nice. That's really nice from Claude. That's real nice. Good play. Yeah, I mean, all, all, like, FlyQuest are... Oh, they get so much from this. I like this play from FlyQuest. They get so much from this. Like, Inspire gets the base. He takes Pryo Camps. They find the guaranteed kill, pretty much. Nice trap from Busio and FlyQuest. Yeah, that's 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 really that's really good. Triss doesn't overstay for a wave either. They're chilling. Nice. Oh. Oh, I saw this clip of Dokla. I and Dokla played this as well as he could. It's a little bit of a greedy TP from Quad. Um, energy gets quite a bit from it. Oh my god. Dude, the Ziggs, uh, Ziggs Garner is kind of gross. No? I mean, I, I this is why I didn't love NRG's approach to draft. Because I feel like, again, we're playing Dive into Zyra and Skarner and Leona. And if we aren't able to play side lanes, which I will say that the, the Triss Ziggs have decent reach and ability to impact sides, even if they're playing like from or through mid. And Triss isn't the worst in sides. Like, she's super safe and this champion's an issue in her own right. I I don't see a path like an easy path of victory here for NRG. And like when you factor that in with like how far behind the Orange Senna were sent off the bat, just with how Masu and Busio put out the lane with the help from Inspired, it it never really felt like NRG got into this game to like the point they needed to be. There's not much to talk about this game, guys. I mean, it really is fly. Wait. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. That thing was thrown in the Narnia. Oh my God! The Onazira is a really good combo too. Yeah. I mean, I, like, we're picking full dive into, like, the fucking Zig Zyra, man. And Leona's so good at holding the door in the dive, too. Like, that's where, that's where, for me, the real value of Leona is. 
Uh, yeah, Leona can go in, but man, if you go into Leona, that champ is actually fucking broken. Okay, so I, this feels like a desperation pull now. We, we can grant this, yeah. Whippo's bot with no TP, they know this. I, I, can't, I, I actually don't mind the pull from NRG. The only issue I have is Contracts has no mana, so he has to die, which he does. Oh no, okay. I didn't, I didn't mind the pull a little bit. Yeah, we gotta not burn through all of our mana hero for Contracts. I think keeping your E going like that was a big oops. Because now we don't have mana to get through the, the Baron, and FlyQuest is here, and you're cooked. And Quad just gets to play a rather chill fight. Really like how Blippo and Masu are positioning here, actually. Yeah, that's really nice. Like, they're they're holding... Like, they're forcing NRG to try and pincer, but they get to hold both chokes because they, like, just where their champs are and, like, how they can use their abilities. It's kind of filthy. Oh, who he's got smite. Yeah. All right, they CC'd him. Good try. I mean, trying the double smite, Baron. I think Contracts burning through E there was a pretty big mistake on the uh, crab. We're out of mana now. Inspired, so inspired is just fucking toasted in this. He gets Yone alted and Karthus alted with the Senna W over the top. Um, I mean, they just took Dragon. I think this is greedy from FlyQuest overall. Again, I, I wish I saw the full deploy, but they're trying to play for the top camps. I can understand that, but energy just catches them off numbers and like presenting that opportunity is poor. It It doesn't matter though. Oh my god. Damn, Ziggs Garner, pretty fun. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Ziggs Garner. Oh, I got a good album queuing up next, by the way. Uh, good game from FlyQuest. I, I think their draft was quite good. I, I think it's just tough for NRG to, like fight grouped up, and because FlyQuest got so far ahead, they could force fights grouped up. And also, they did a nice job of shutting down the side lane in, like, the transition to mid-game, so... I, I, this is a really solid game, I think, from FlyQuest. Happy with this one. Couple oopsies, but that's okay. We don't mind the oopsies. Not banning Skarner, and then just play Cassante into it. Um... I mean, I'm always okay with Cassante, but this Garner champ's not okay. Okay, speaking of being gated by range, uh, FlyQuest. I, I think that part of the reason we're seeing Zyra and the Karthus is because, like, you just play anti-dive. Like, Karthus it, it has a lot of trouble getting in through the plants and the Ryewise that Zyra can't apply. Not to mention the slows from just the E plants, so you don't even go Ryewise in the first place. Um... So I, I think that's one of the reasons we're seeing this matchup a little bit more as a response. Ash first pick with Corky. Varus Trist is fine as a core. We go Kasanse. We pick to match this. Two champs taken away. Blippa finds a Poppy. Um, it's a decent Poppy. I think after Poppy, though, the Zyra pick just becomes so goddamn good. Also, like... If our plan is to pick Poppy, then why are we banning Callista? I, I understand wanting to get rid of the Callista Ash. We can also really fuck Callista later on in the game with Poppy. And we're already opting into playing Poke Varus. And if the option is to match with Poke Callista, I prefer that for Varus overall. I, I really do. I think you're just more valuable for more like a larger part of the game. Um, Leona pick. I'm seeing a lot of Ash, Leona, Zyra, just like the super utility core. All right. 
Um, I think Alistar, I really like Alistar in Leona. I think it sucks Ash in that. <laughs> I said sucks Ash. I think it sucks ass into Ash Zyra. So I, I do think that FlyQuest like really struggle with these three, kind of getting outranged and kited um, by this shit. So I think it's a much harder draft for FlyQuest. They have to be very, very sound about how they close the gap and where. Stacked. I guess they're hoping like maybe Ash walks in. The NRG did play for content this week. And FlyQuest. Props to each of these teams for playing for content, you know? Wait, we're in Twitch chat asking for Doko to 1v2 and then rip his shirt off? That's crazy. Alright, this was Ballistic from Blippo, but I actually really liked it. Uh, I think selfishly, if he actually saved this pot, it would have been even better. But it does get inspired this crazy opener where he goes blue and the denying these two camps. And it really, really, really hurts Contract's game. So... I actually, I have mad respect for FlyQuest playing like this. And one of the reasons I had FlyQuest, like, first in my tier list is I think this meta is, like, I mean, AP jungle meta is inspired meta, guys. It, 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 it really is. Good flash by contracts, but, like, again, this starts so good. They pulled his flash. They pulled two of his camps. And bot lane was able to be covered by Karthus along that uh, path. That's that's really, really good. And this was close. Iambusio hit the combo. It just wasn't enough damage. Like, they're level 3 to level 2 here. I'm, I'm okay with this. And the only thing that we're not okay with is the fact that... Um, their jungler, like, Contracts is bought. And that's, th this is Contracts only play, so, like, Masu, Busio need to respect this. Why, they for sure win this trade, if it's, and, like, that ruins the 2v2. Masu going on hit, Pepe left. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we need to go on hit this game. I can see some of the theory, though, with at least, like, Oh yeah, this is that was really good from Hui too. Ma Masu's wave is fucked, so he's trying to agree the fact that if we, he waits out both bases, he might be able to fix this before they get back. Because again, they, they know that Zyra will be on top side of the map now. Because they just took Zyra's bot camps. So I, I, I know this looks bad, but I this isn't the worst risk in the world. I'm going to be honest. I, I think it's... I, I will cope a little bit and say like... I think if he gets these two waves, then his lane is like kind of won. If he gets those waves, his, like, lane is one. Instead, it's kind of fucked. I don't... It, this is not the worst. I, I, I'm, I can live with these two flips from FlyQuest. I'll be real. I, I, I really can. I think, I think the first one's worse than this one. I, even if this one, like, looks way worse. Just given the scenario. Like, you knew Zyro was going to be bot. There, like, your lane is fucked if you don't do anything to fix it. But yeah, they kind of fucked their own lane. So, unlucky. But these guys definitely, like... They play for that. It's fine. Uh, I actually kind of agree. I don't think that Masu... I I'm kind of down for the Thality, just given that you have a Tristana and a Karthus. Uh, I think that having more alts and a lot of poke is actually more valuable this game than on hit. Uh, maybe the concern is they don't know who gets through Leona, Cassante. But I think keeping distance from Ash is actually quite valuable instead of trying to drain tank war. Because for me, Zyra really uh, warps that. <laughs> what was your opinion on Busio's first death? I was curious. Uh, I actually think the play was there. He just didn't have Ignite, and you know that Contracts' only play is Gromp. Or, uh, fucking Crab. So I think you can reasonably infer that their jungler is bot side. So, they see Contracts, 
they make this plan contracts, right? Honestly, if he doesn't, I think him blowing the Ignite, if he doesn't blow Ignite here, they do kill Hui. I think he, oh, wait, I, okay, I think I know what you're talking about here. This is actually a good catch from Coach Rocco of FlyQuest Challengers. So, if, like, for me, again, Contracts' only play on the map here is this, and this should be known. Con um, they could have seen if he crossed the top side. Uh, the only other play is if he bases and goes top side, but that's where Karthus is going. So, Zyra has to be down here. I think what you're saying is he should let Hui throw this, and instead of queuing here, the, there's no creeps under the tower, so you should W Leona back, and then Q flash. And that's how the Leona dies, and they get out. Also, if he has Ignite here, it's winning. Yeah. Yeah, I missed that. Good catch. If he has Ignite, it's winning either way. Yeah, Wasting Zyra time is really good. I would, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of down for both these deaths. I don't think I'm coping too much by saying this. Because, like, if Varus gets to stay and get this in, he knows Zyra's not on that side of the map, and it actually saves their lane. Like, their lane is Omega Fuck now. I'm, I'm okay with that flip. Okay, where were we? Yeah, yeah, it, it was Contracts' his only play. Wasting his time is valuable, though. And they, they could have... They could have killed Huey if they played it better. I think that's a good call. Lucio could have played that one better. He tried to be fancy, man. He interrupted the Zenith Blade instead of playing for the headbutt. Okay, so it's Grubs to NRG, and there's no Dragon Trade because Bot got a little bit scuffed. And Cassante early on in the Poppy, like, you're okay. It's a handshake matchup until Poppy just kind of takes over. I think Poppy has slight edge. All right, it's not contracts in. This is good. Yeah. They don't want to go on Masu because of cleanse. God, who he takes so much damage. I don't mind that from energy. They just lost out on the play, which I mean doesn't really make sense for them given where the where their champs are at. I just think it's the they threw everything into the cow who had aftershock. And Busio Flash was good. On the Alistar the entire game. I mean, their their comp fucking abuses the hell out of Alistar, though. Let's be fair. Like, Zyra Ash, Alistar hates his life playing into that. I, I'm I'm low-key pretty surprised that it wasn't Poppy Bot. Which I think was, was valid. Now, you can play Poppy into the Ono. I like Alistar and Leona. You just get absolutely fucking walked by Zyra Ash. And Corky, even. Honestly, it was a Braum angle. But, ah, uh, no. Braum, Braum, you get... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm capping, I'm capping, I'm capping. You also get fucking walked as Braum. Sorry, I saw on hit Varus and panicked. You know, I had this just say my favorite champion's name, Braum. Did I miss anything? Not really. The minion taxi. I need to see, like... 
But yeah, I think Ash has so much value in, in this game. Man, I I always love seeing Ash ban. I'm just I'm gonna be real, man. The, this champion is so fucking warping. Damn, they really tried to make this play. I mean, they tried to make this like. What do they get for trying to make this play? Yeah, I don't know about this one. Did we put flash in place. Oh, he did. Oh no. It was force. I don't know what better option would be. Unironically, I think Poppy Bot is like okay if you can get a better top lane matchup, but it's not like that top lane matchup is bad by any means. I mean, high key, this is where if like, you know. Sure, I'm down to play Fiora and just say like fuck team fights, you know? But that's harder to win on. Quid? Busio is wasting time. I like the E from Hui. He's just going before the cooldowns are back. Uh, so, energy is just up on the play in terms of time. Dragon does go over to fly quest, but they lose out on two turrets, and they don't get... Um, so it's two turrets for turret and drake. That's fine for energy. About Renata? I think Renata is absolutely dog in the ash. Yeah, I mean, again, they found Alistair here. He's on a ward. Nice arrow coming out from Ash, so it's finding him while cooldowns are down. Yeah, I mean, I, FBI has not been the issue with energy this entire year. I I, I had FBI on my all pro list on, in spring. I, I didn't get to on my. My list, I don't get an official one. I love an official list, but unfortunately, you know. Travis gets gets the hot one league vote. Hmm. I mean, Flyquests are just so far behind in this game. Like, Busio was kind of picked on. His Wormlogs are so delayed. He doesn't have that boots completed yet. Okay, this TP. What the fuck? What? We have three blue trinkets up. And we do this? Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was tough. And we win the fight? What? How do we win this fight? This is the winner of our fight. 
Holy shit! Oh my god, dude. The fucking orbital cannon is just not fair. Oh my god. That's unbelievable. I cannot believe that we just walked in like that. Wow, that was I. Wow, I cannot believe that we just walked into that brush like that. That's the craziest shit I think I've I've seen in months. I watched. I I saw a fifty six kill game in twenty seven minutes in Challengers League, and I'm calling that crazier shit. Um. The conditions are kind of weird for NRG, but it's like, it's almost like, okay, we have Zyrus, like, let's do this. I, that's a really good off from Blippo. Nice off from Dokla as well. He actually used his R to get out of Verisar, which I think is pretty significant in that, in that, uh, sequence. Nice. We'll play Blippo. Okay. Okay, that, that's, I, I don't like this start from NRG. Dude, NRG really have to think about how they play Baron, man. I, I'm I'm kind of down for them just playing Zyra this game simply to give them an easier Baron. I swear, every single time I see them touch Baron this split, I get a heart attack. I still cannot believe that we had three blue trinkets up and walked into that embankment brush, man. Holy shit. I <laughs> like holy shit, man. I, I cannot believe that actually happened. Oh, and I saw it from Masu. That's, that's, this is nice. That's really nice. Me likey. Nice. Okay, so they push him off. There's a war they don't know about. Oh, I'm gonna be real, guys. This should be forced. And it should be forced simply off of flash timers. I'm trying to see scoreboard come up again. They didn't reset either. Busio. Busio ends up with sweeper up. They already have some control board set up. I want to fight this. I have Poppy alt, Alistar alt, and they have Cassante alt. I don't give a shit about Corky Rockets. I, I want to hit this, man. I, I think we're being... I think, I think we're vegan as shit for not hitting this. I'm gonna be real. I don't care if bot lane's borked. What's still gonna do? Fucking TP there and sack Baron? And, like, just kind of fucking slap that thing with his big Cassante sticks that don't do any damage to turrets? Nah, we hit the Baron here. I'm, I was super down to hit the Baron there, actually. I feel like that's FlyQuest's best angle back into the game. Uh, you you get a second fight. I I uh, the only thing missing for them as big as Karthus R, but the fact that you have Alistar R, and you have Vision Control, and you just like make them walk in and turn when no one has a flash. I want that scenario. I, I'm playing the comp that has to close the gap. I'm up numbers, and I'm gonna make them walk into Baron with no flash. Give me that scenario. We have Shilbo on Ash. Interesting. I, I can see some of the value against Karthus. 
Like, you're just gonna be... You can't take advantage of uh, Bloodthirster passive if you're going up against something like Karthus, you know? What a fall from Grace Energy has had. Yeah, it's it's not been the best start to the split for them, but... They have time to turn it around. Who knows what happens after the break for um, EWC, you know? Like, I, I'm, I think the teams that utilize that break the best are, I mean, I'm interested to see how that impacts everyone and everything. Uh, if you got 03 before EWC, though, I think it's really tough. Ah, it depends on your schedule, let's be real. I think the disparity in LCS is actually, like, you know, going to end up being kind of big. I don't think we're going to get the excitement in terms of standings that we wish we had from this. Nice peel back from NRG. I, I really like how they focus down Blippo here. I mean, this was, this was crazy. Dude, I mean, props to NRG. It's good Baron. The best Baron they've had all split because they just pick Zyra and they get to cheat it. Yeah, that was unironically really big. What is the EWC break? Haven't been paying too much attention recently. Uh, there, I mean, there's a tournament going on. Yeah, there's just like a break in LCS for that and whatever reason. Personally, uh, the second week of July, I'm going back home to play a golf event with my dad. So I am pumped. It's going to be a great week to not be on the internet. I'm sure Twitter will have a lot of reasonable discussion about what's going on. You pretty good at golf? I'm a six and a half handicap right now. My best was I was uh, I was a four at my best. So yeah, I'm I'm decent. If I play good, I break eighty. You know. I'm like fifteen. Eh, that's your average golfer. Good for you. It's a great game. I really like how they held the line against Whippo here. Bippo flings the alt and misses, so this this like bot side control is pretty much now all energy. Not rid of the games itself, yeah. Three pinks in the brush. I mean we're just on the same page there. I can't even get mad about that one. Just fucking, fucking synced up. Um, I don't think it's the worst death from Dokal. He just doesn't exit with... Okay, no, he doesn't exit with his team. That's poor. He wants bot wave when no one's showing. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, unfortunate. I mean, they get, they get stuff for it. It's not terrible. But they do lose dragon positioning for it. So they actually call the gambit. See, this is when I like NRG as a team. I respect this from NRG a lot, actually. Said, oh, you just fucked our top laner? Like, they at least get something, you know? They know they don't have control, and so they at least try. I tried too hard for the kill there. Could have played the wave, but all good.
Oh, this is the 1v1 from Palafox. Dude, uh, maybe they're on to something with the shield bow. By the way, this was nasty. The rocket gas was really nasty from Palafox. We appreciate the queen gameplay. A free cleanse at Amasu too. And then we can go look for Baron. Poor Foul Fox, man. He got schmelted. Oh, he was so close, actually. Oh, he burned Flash? Oh, no, 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 no. I was like... Damn, he was really close to base. Oh, that sucks. Jensen would have won that duel. <laughs> Keep in mind, monsters no cleanse, and they find Inspire with that. And Doko takes him out of the fight. This all from Doko is really good. I, I, I'm i becoming more of a fan of Kasante and the Karthus. Just because of that, and then you get a 30% damage reduction on his arm. And a shield. But like, uh, pulling him out of the fight there is actually really big. What the shit happened? Like, we're on FBI here. Like, that's that's good. Oh, no. Quadlium. Wow, Quad just got schmelted. And then TP came in from Power Fox. I mean, they're definitely, they're definitely in deep here. They're in a bit of a pickle. I mean, well played, like, contracts. I feel like FlyQuest kind of misplayed that a little bit more. Yeah, FBI was in a tough spot that fight. He did, I think, I don't know. Let's take a look from FBI's perspective. I think he just, like, flashed this. Yeah, FBI needs to hug the top wall here. This is fine. He played that out well. I like the hitting the blue buff, too. I, I like all this from FBI. I think that he just hugged two bad walls. He does tickle Poppy. I mean, Poppy scales really nicely. Good Baron. That's a lot of damage. Dude, that beats out the UG 9k to Leo. Spyro needs to learn to use Karthus passive more. I mean, he was in a tough spot with the the Dokla um, situation. I do think here, though, going at you were 100% valid in saying that Inspire should go in. I also think we're valid in saying that he shouldn't be positioned where there's no one between him and FBI. I think Inspire's positioning here is really poor. And part of why this fight's so one-sided for uh, NRG. It's a nice find from FBI. The burn getting moss is a little bit unfortunate. Goddamn. The fucking dots, man. I will say the I don't love how good dots are right now. I really hate dots in, in the game. I agree with flashing in there for inspired. I think that's a good shout chat. Timing could be great, but like you said, Cummy. All right. Um, I inspired this EG Valoran shot. Yeah, that was kind of funny. Uh, last game of the series, guys. Shout out to each of our teams for the content as Zyra's about to go 3-0. Oh, boy. All right. We have uh, been relegated to first pick Leona meta, which is crazy, man. 
That's crazy to me. First picking Leona. Oh my god. 100% down for Braum. And Trist. I, 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 I like this. But we have the handshake up. We take Ezreal. So we get some, uh, some spacing in there. Kasante picked. Two counters taken away. So they leave Olaf up this time. But Olaf's kind of tough on the Trist. Um, and then it's Kaisa pick. I mean, I think the mistake here was that they wanted the high jungle. But also, I don't think you can pick Zyra here. I think that Zyra should have been banned. I, I understand wanting the ban Poppy here, but I would give him Renekton. You can play Tristan and Renekton. I, I would have rather gotten rid of the Zyra, because I feel like you can't play Zyra, and the other team once would love to play Zyra with Corky Ezreal set up. How the fuck do you ever get on Corky Ezreal? If you're playing, if you already have Alistar Kasante locked in and they play Zyra, you know? And they have Leona too. I feel like this identity is too good. They take more CC and more utility and something that can still play into Kasante. It's like, what's the use of these bands, man? Give them the Renekton. I know it's Blipple Renekton. Give them the Poppy. Don't give them this shit. I feel like this shit's unplayable for energy. They have to, like, bork Zyra so hard in the early game or else this game gets doomed, you know? That's, that's kind of how I feel about it. I don't know. I feel like NRG, like, when I think of NRG under the Think Card era with, like, this team, even before that, I, I've always actually really appreciated Think Card's reads on draft. And I, I've given CLG and NRG, like, a lot of props on that. And that just hasn't been the case so far this split. I, I really feel like NRG. Like, found edge in a lot of drafts. I think that was a big part of the reason why they won Summer. I think that they had a lot of good reads on the meta and, like, how to play out the... They knew how to play out the Jace Trist handshake and then the uh, how to play into Nico Viego and play it. I think that was, like, what was, was really big for NRG's run. That and, like, I mean, I, I don't know. Contracts just good this, that split. All right. So we have lane swap coming in. What's the value of lane swap this game? We can fuck around with TF gold card. We definitely... Starving TF is better than starving Cassante. If you are NRG. So, like, you're starving a member that is going to be more useful with less gold. That's, that's fine. I'm chill with that. You also lose this lane. I'm down for the lane swap from NRG. I think that's a good call. Nice, they're killing the wave in front of the turret. Our teams have learned. They, they read how tower resistances work. We love it. Oh, it's also no TP from Bwipo. So this is curious. So they're going to have quad TP top to just get this wave. And he's like, fuck the base, man. I'm just going to go up here and get this big-ass wave. And then Bwipo shifts mid. I like this. I mean, it's really tough for Blippo to like, get anything here, but honestly, because it's a short lane and he's under his turret, it's more playable than top. And quad is uh, defense. My contract's got a camp. We get to choose the, the bot crab. Inspired down a second clear. Okay, I'm actually... I, I really like the uh, small adaptation that we made to playing around in lane swap with no TP top lane. That, that's good. That, I, I wonder if there are other champs or scenarios where we can pull this off. It's like, yeah, Bwipo's down, but he's able to pick everything up now. And Kasante is still getting his ship pushed in. Really lit.
All right, so now lanes are back. I mean, Blippo got a lead off the lane spot, man. This is crazy. Like, what happened to top lane? I mean, we get no CS, man? That's crazy. Wow. I mean, we are starving. I, I this is a good swap from FlyQuest, but like, ugh. I think I I really think that there are some shortcomings here in terms of how NRG drafted and see like saw this one out. I think the swap's fine. I think the swap though, uh, putting Whippo mid and having quad CP top to do this was like. I mean, this is so good for FlyQuest. Any reason Riot doesn't provide pro team replay files? Uh, they do so internally to the teams for stage games, but uh, not, sure, not sure why they don't do it to the public. Nice pick on to uh, Zyra. I the one positive here is like contracts is at least up a camp. Uh, but he can't stick around to take anything else. And there's no dragon, so... I still can't believe top is what it was. Top is what it is. I mean, that, that lane's over. Like, poor Doko, man. Doko got to lane for, like, zero minutes of this game. All right. Ah, uh, I get to see, see Masu pass the Ezreal test. Besides the, the, mis the miscue is an oops, you know. But the rocket jump was a mistake there from Powell Fox. I think he needed to get... I'm not sure if he needed to get in range or not, actually. Because he has vision in this brush. Masu cutting vision, though, was really nice. I think if Palafox clicks better, he probably get, at least gets a one for one there. Potentially. Either way, well played for Masu to get the vision break and the brush. That that and the barrier was was actually quite nice. Okay. Dude. First pick the auto didn't do shit. What the fuck? You play from energy. And they're sacking this, so they like you might as well strong side something. Okay. I'm not. I, I I think Contracts is a good player, man. I I really do. 
I think a high key, like, this meta kind of benefits him too. Oh, this is poor. What? Uh, this is so frustrating to me. Because, like... Yeah, he could have found that play. It would have been nice. I, like, my issue with this play from NRG, like, yes, they get, they get melted and this looks bad. Like, let's think about this real quick. We have... Look, look, look at their vision here. This is the last time we're going to see Zyra. Bottom right could be right quick, here. But like you said, Cummy. Where do you think Zyra's going if you look at your minimap, your NRG? Oh, look. Okay, so we're spotted here. Never mind. It's it's even worse than I thought. What what do you think this Zyra is doing right now? If you're energy, probably doing your Gromp, right? So why the fuck are we making this play? Like that that that's bad. Like I see, but man, I mean we we had a lot of info on Zyra there. That's bad. Oh, Diana into that? Yeah. I it's not it's not a Diana draft for me. Um I don't know what AP jungler is better here besides like you get kind of doused by Karthus too. And I don't think I mean I think FlyQuest draft's quite good. Toko was protesting being on Cassante duty. I think Huey's protesting the fact that Leona was first picked. And he's pushing the Leona first pick agenda by playing like this. Oh my god. Like, we are... I, I don't know, man. This is tough. Yeah, this is tough. I'm done watching that. We aren't gonna we aren't gonna think about that anymore. There's not much to think about there. You can't build a um it's not like you though, if you're gonna take a fight like that in the jungle. It is a bad angle, but like that should also just I don't know, be assumed. Masu? Ooh, my f I, I I'm saying you pass the Ezreal test? And we do this? Oh no we well, we had the right, we had the right idea. It was just Mouse is on the wrong side of his character. It'll be interesting. All right. Um, I mean, they just push everything out and take Drake for free. Chill. Quad flashing to get a kill. We we love it. I I think. Um, by the way, I think that the IE tr uh, Trinity Force Corky is the angle. I I are uh T Force into IE. I, I feel like this is the build for me. I'm out of the RFCs. I think tier is okay, but I don't think you really need the tier. Just go Trinity Force into IE and start doing boom boom damage. Wait, EWC is using 27 inch monitors? The, where's, the, where's the reporting on this? Yeah, 24 is standard. I swear, man, everyone has news about this thing.
could find in the Blippo. I mean, dude, I, I, FBI is the savior of this team, man. That's really well played by FBI. Look, look at the gold card following him. That's really well done by FBI. Oh my god, dude. This poor fucking Cassante. Alright, so if I see Corky Ezreal, I'm, I'm becoming a much bigger fan of Zyra. No, you're fine. I don't need to see it. I trust you. I, I like the look in the Blippo, and I really like how I, I played this. That was, that was really clean. But I, again, like this comp, I mean, you just cannot, you cannot really engage. Like the only reason this works out is the quad TP. It, they get, he gets jumped and he even trades out one for one during the TP. Goddamn. No, we're just fighting again. Sick. Love to see how this sets up. Love to see why Blippo's at half HP right now. Uh, it's a little slop, actually. I, I respect... Okay, NRG does have to push the pace here. I think they need the fight when sums are down. So I appreciate them trying to take two fights in a row. Especially when FBI has... Um, like, has an alt here. Well played quad. Oh my god, well played quad. Dude, these, these youngins don't know about the Corky Ezreal dominated metas. Okay, that's a little bit troll, Busio. We're going a little bit hand there, Busio. He dies for his sins. Uh, third Drake was picked up by FlyQuest. Is that a Chemtech? I hate how these Drakes go out of order, man. With the AP jungle prio, why do you think we don't see more Miss Quad sniping Huey? No, I saw it. Let me just skip through the replay. Um, Timing could be great, but like you said, uh, Spen C, Matt. Thanks for the follow. Also, I'm Yogi. Thanks for the follow. I don't know if I call it you or not. Um, we don't see more Lilia because Lilia is gated by range, and I think is also vulnerable to pick. Like you have the ability to interact down a river, but you can get blown up pretty easily by stuff like uh, Leona, Alistar finding you and like having Tulia combos or shit like this. Lilia is OP in the three melees, but same with Zyra. And that clears even faster. And you can't get picked as like playing Lilia and the Diana. You have more defense as Zyra. Like Lilia, you do your damage over time, whereas Zyra, if you get picked, you can just drop R and blow your load. Speaking of blowing loads. Contracts onto Inspired. Really nice alt, though, from Zyra. Like, it's fun. See? Yep. I'm in. This get dude the the how gated energy are on range man it's hard. Ouch. Ouch. I mean, FBI has no conditions, man. Uh, I feel bad for FBI in this game. I, I don't know. I, I feel like energy, like, again, like, their draft, like, they're just playing some more comps, and if they... If you get behind in uh, this comp, you're so overextended, man. All flight quests have to do is walk backwards into you. Oh, my God. That's chill. What's the tier 2 time schedule? We go after LCS. I think this weekend, though, we're on the weekend. Uh, in terms of VOD reviews, I'm going to try and get to them tomorrow. 
Probably tomorrow night. We'll see, though. Got a tea time tomorrow, guys. I'm going to play golf in a little bit. I'm going to suck ass. Get um. No. All right. Good game. All right. Good game's FlyQuest. I, I think energy still has some issues, man. Um, I do like the, the Zyra drafts, though, with Ezreal Corky. It's pretty chill. So. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in to this VOD review. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please hit like or subscribe. Feel free to comment as well if you have any feedback or thoughts for me.